It's been about a year since we filled this bioreactor with horse manure. Let's open it up today and see what the compost inside looks like. Thanks for watching the video today. I'm Diego and my goal is to help you streamline gardening to make it easier to garden if you're a busy person. When it comes to gardening, one way you can reduce the amount of work that you're doing is by letting nature do some of the work that you would normally do. A bioreactor is one way to use nature to your advantage. On a normal active compost pile, you'd be turning it. A bioreactor like this is a passive way to compost. You fill it up and you just let it sit. You let worms, fungi, bacteria, and other biology break down the contents no turning required. If you want to learn more about bioreactors, I have a whole playlist about bioreactor videos, which I'll link to below. The bioreactor that you see here is Johnson Sioux inspired. We started with a landscape fabric covered outer shell. We filled it up with horse manure. The six vent pipes were in the pile, later removed. The difference in the Johnson Sioux pile and this pile is this is sitting directly on the ground. So the bottom of the bioreactor is making direct contact with the soil surface. I wanted to do that to try and promote biology from the soil to come up into the pile and vice versa. This is actually on one of my garden beds. So why not use the pile to improve the biology in the bed? while you're making compost. That would be different than a traditional Johnson Sioux bioreactor, which would be sitting on a pallet. A lot of people think the pallet makes a big difference. They think that increased airflow would lead to better compost. We'll see what this one looks like. A year ago, I filled this bioreactor with 100% horse manure. I added some worms from another compost pile at the very beginning. Other than that, I haven't done anything to it other than removing the vent pipes and watering it on my drip irrigation system. It's just sat here passively for the past 12 months. Let's see what the contents inside look like. One of the big questions that I get around bioreactors is how do you get the compost out? You're not gonna dig it out from the top. You're just gonna remove the outer shell. So however you closed it up using zip ties or just by bending over the wire mesh onto itself, just undo that and you'll be able to remove this whole exoskeleton from the pile and I think it's basically going to leave us a big cake in the center. It's not going to want to flow out like sand. It's going to stick to a mold pretty good. You might be thinking, well, what's all this stuff? This is not composted and you're right. It's not supposed to be. This is a little hack that I discovered over the summer. I was having trouble keeping the soil surface inside the bioreactor moist. So I thought, well, I could cover that with some plastic. I didn't have any plastic that I could cut at the time to fit inside here. So I thought, why don't I just cut some of my sorghum sedan grass, pile it up in there. If the worms and biology eats it, so what? But I'll make a nice thick mulch to help preserve the soil surface. And it actually worked really well. So let me just pull this off. We have about 40% of what we started with. I think this is typical for anybody doing composting. A lot of the organic matter volatilizes into the air. That carbon is just goes up into the atmosphere. You're also losing pore space as bigger particles break down. They become smaller particles and the pile becomes more dense. And that's what we have here. Looking at the material in the pile, it looks really good. It smells really good. It doesn't resemble the horse apple, horse manure that went into this to start. One thing that I've came to realize about these bioreactors is they are basically very large worm bins. You're gonna see that if you do this at home. Worms infest the pile and worms take over. This is kind of just a fancy way of worm composting. This pile is loaded in worms. I'm actually gonna use some of this pile to inoculate some of my other compost piles. I'm gonna take worms from here, put them in other bioreactors to try and get the worm population kick-started in the brand new bioreactors. If you look at the compost in this bioreactor compared to the one that came out of the wood chip based bioreactor, this is infinitely better. Squeezing it, we do get a ball clay-like texture that you know, holds its shape. Overall, I'm really happy with how this pile turned out. One observation though, no pallet might have been a mistake given where I'm located. What do I mean by that? 
This is the top of the pile, as you can see, and what's at the very top of the pile? This is a root, a root that didn't start from a plant growing top down. This is a root from one of these plants behind me that sought out this nutrient rich compost. And even looking down into the pile, I can see a lot of roots in the pile. So maybe one benefit or for sure one benefit of elevating this pile off the ground is you keep hungry roots out of your pile. I have a feeling when I take this apart, I'm going to find a lot of roots in here. Not that that's a bad thing, but I don't really want them stealing nutrients before I get a chance to use those nutrients in my garden. I have all this finished compost. What's next? One, I'm going to use some of the worms and compost from this pile to inoculate some of my other newer compost piles. Two, I'm going to save some of the compost in just a trash can and gradually mix it into my potting mix. As long as the worms are in there, as long as they keep watering it, the biology should stay active. And then the third thing I'm going to do is just use it to apply to some of my garden beds. I'm just going to put it right on the soil surface and lightly mix it into the soil surface. Overall, I love composting in bioreactors. It just makes composting really easy because you're letting nature do most of the work. If you don't have one, consider building one for your garden this winter and find a good local clean source of organic matter that you can fill it with. Fill it up, let it sit. It's going to take some time, but at the end of the day, you'll get really great compost. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.